Hi guys, it's James Nash from Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. <laughs> Today, <clears throat> we're going to talk about uh, repurposing uh, airbag charges that unfortunately can't be put back into vehicular use uh, due to their nature and um, as, uh, as, as people who are both very green and stuff. Uh, we hate waste. Yeah, fuck waste. waste. Um, so uh, we've, we've been lucky enough to get a, a selection of, of uh, different charges. We've already taken them out of the uh, airbag assembly. So the, um, there's a little metal frame and the bag's attached to that and that goes. Uh, and then you're left with a, a charge with, a, with an electrical squib, I suppose, that, that sets the charge off um, and, a, and a wired diffuser that stops it stops it burning the bag and uh, calms things down a little bit so uh, so it doesn't blow your head off um, yeah let's let's cut one open and see what happens eh so from our uh, from our previous experiments we found that uh, you can you can drill the uh, drill the canister and take the take the explosive out and uh, mucking about with that a little bit uh, it won't be set off by by a moderate amount of heat, but you throw the whole thing on a fire, and uh, and once it gets nice and hot, it will go off. So uh, it's probably best not to make too much heat with the uh, with the explosive still in there. We've we've drilled it and and uh, and taken it out on this one previously, uh, and we'll we'll do the same to show you what the explosive looks like. But um, but this one's safe now. It's got no explosive left in it. We've cut the cut the detonator off the back here. Uh, We'll, sh we'll show you quickly what's involved with that on, on this end. Uh, there's two charges in each of these canisters. Uh, I don't know why, because uh, there's only one bag attached to it. Safety first, I suppose, belt and braces. Uh, this end, you can see the connector. We haven't got the, uh, the proper connectors for these airbags, so uh, um, we have to pull this, this little piece of plastic out. If you can see, uh, there's there's a couple of wire fingers that touch the connectors so without the plug on there it'll actually short anything out and it won't set the uh, set the set the charge off um, so we've got to pull this pull this piece of plastic out I've got to find a pick so first we'll pull the uh, the bit of safety plastic out that will mean we can we can put 12 volts across it and set the thing off. There we go. Put 12 volts on those pins now, and the uh, the charge will detonate. But we won't do it quite like that. We'll cut this off and show you what's inside the whole thing. Uh, yeah. I should probably be uh, enough of the way through now. We just, oh yeah, look at that. Actually pops. And um, that's the uh, that's the second uh, second little detonator out of uh, out of the uh, what airbag. Yeah. Um, yeah. Little little self-contained electrical detonator. I don't think it will come apart. Uh, easily any more than that because uh, these things are, are built not to come apart at all so everything's uh, got a swaged swaged around itself so the only way of getting it apart is by cutting this uh, this canister now is is completely safe uh, we would previously taken the the charge out and it now has both both detonators removed just uh, before we go any further it will be interesting to see just how fucking loud these uh, these little detonators are. As previously stated, uh, we weren't fortunate enough to get any of the connectors to go on the back of here, which is why we took the the plastic uh, little safety housing thing off. So um, we're just going to push some wire over it. We take some some speaker cable here, just uh, 
cheap expendable cable stick a pick down there make a bit of space for the pin and uh, we'll uh, slide it over the outside of the pin obviously there's no no difference here than, than if you're letting it off still attached to the charge get this one over oh, so a bit fiddly make sure that the other end isn't attached to the yeah. 12 volt charge before <laughs> see Ash could have Ash could have given me a fun surprise there if he would just touched it across the battery whilst I was doing that but that's a very good safety point actually obviously safety first as always um, now in the vice that that that'll um that'll go off I suppose won't it as you can see uh it's quite loud <laughs> it was louder than I remembered yeah quite fun as well though. Uh, that's what's left now so here's one that isn't detonated <laughs> Ash is just clutching his ears I think there's something brown trickling out of his face now whatever uh, and this is the uh, this is the detonated one hmm so uh that's a reasonable bang um, but no real power there I suppose um, oh uh, let's let's hack the rest of this open just so you can see what's going in inside Right, whilst uh, whilst I think about it, nine volts was enough to set that uh, that airbag charge off. So normally it's uh, probably twelve volts in a in a vehicle system, but um, I don't suppose it's that sensitive as to how much voltage it gets. Uh, maybe we'll try with with lower voltages just to make it easier to set them off when you're out and about, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, nine volts nine volts set that one off anyway. So unfortunately, we stopped the camera just now. Uh, because we thought it was going to be very boring cutting this thing open unbeknown to ourselves uh, there's, there's actually three components to this charge so there's the squib that we cut out uh, the main charge that we drilled out uh, and we've just discovered at the expense of my wrist and, uh, and my beautiful fucking body warmer uh, fortunately not my eyes though uh, that there's, there's a, uh, an intermediate stage of charge um, yeah, so that, that just exploded as I was cutting it. Obviously, obviously the heat and uh, and sparks from the grinder that we were just putting through it to section it for you people. I hope you appreciate this. Uh, set the charge off and it went bang whilst we were cutting it. Um, this end, we just uh, just started hacking it open to see what was in there, and there's a, a sort of brown brown um, brown charge in there. I don't know if you just tip out the hands. Uh, so that's a. Uh, that's something we haven't come across before. We we'll stick it on the back of the vice there. Um, I'm curious now because obviously, obviously the first one went off uh, with electrical charge. The second one will only go off with a detonator. But this one, we'll just uh, we'll just put a flame on it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, interesting. Wasn't really an explosion that time. So I suppose uh, I suppose the. Um, the incredibly smart people at TRW Airbag Systems GmbH uh, know what they're doing with explosives a bit more than I do. Yeah, this is 70% Hurston uh, 2003. But either way, we'll continue cutting. Uh, it's got to be safe now, unless there's another charge we don't know about. But um, I think that's got to be it, you know. We'll soon find out. Okay, so with a, a couple of minor mishaps, we've uh, we've pretty much sectioned this. Uh, what's the name? Uh, airbag. 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 <laughs> airbag. We sectioned the airbag, man. Uh, we need a, a bit more cutting. Two seconds. Uh, okay. So. Uh, you know, for everyone's education, including our own. Oh, there's lots of bits jangling out there. Uh, this is the. Oh, well, there were some little explosive pellets left in there. That's the. Uh, 
that's the charge. They're white when they come out normally. I think this one sat around for a little while, but those are the, the main the main charge. Either way, uh, we made a little discovery. Obviously, we never knew there were three charges in here before, but uh, a basic basic basic, uh, basic idea, I think. Is that, where's the other? Yeah, you got the 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 detonator, the electrical detonator at this end, and that's a uh, that's poked in the end there. That sets the secondary charge off, which is uh, which is the one that caught caught us out just now when we were putting the angle grinder for it. Didn't know that was there, so obviously it's a, a good idea to always be a bit careful. It met with me, body warmer, it's upsetting. Um, and then uh, so detonator secondary charge living in that little uh, little aluminium capsule and that ruptures a much heavier plate oh it doesn't rupture it there's there's a uh, little gas ports there and then that obviously sets off the the main charge which is held in place by uh, a spring that unfortunately we cut through and these uh, these pieces of gauze so that that main charge has to go through these pieces of gauze we then go through these little holes and out of the canister through these diffusers and these holes so um, I suppose you can say that if you want to get a lot of power out of these airbags you've, you've got to get rid of this uh, get rid of this gauze really otherwise that's going to absorb a lot of the a lot of the force uh, and slow it down a bit so what we'll do, we'll we'll cut a couple more of these things open, just using the uh, hacksaw now, and uh, <clears throat> perhaps perhaps watching how much heat we build up because uh, with a main charge in there, um, uh, I'll have a much bigger burn on my arm if that goes off. I suppose. Um, yeah, you can see the the copper frangible disc here that that keeps everything in place whilst you're driving normally. Look how frangible that is. Ash is just about to demonstrate its frangibility. God, that's frangible, isn't it? <laughs> hey. Uh, all right, all right. So we'll uh, we'll we'll cut another one. Um, so we've got one one larger charge and one smaller charge. Uh, we'll we'll cut it here along the gauze. We know where everything is now. It's a lot a lot safer. It's very very safe in actual fact. Uh, incredibly safe. In incredibly safe. Mm. This is really safe. Yeah. And, uh, and and set a, set a couple off just to demonstrate the the power that is in these things I suppose. All right. So you cut cut all the way around the uh, where the diffusers off, and uh, now uh, that's the diffuser one. And there's one, two. The other diffuser stayed in there. And now we have two. They've already got different size charges in them. Um, we haven't figured out why yet. But uh, that one's more powerful, and that one's not as powerful. So uh, these are pretty much ready to go now. We just put 12 volts across there, or nine or whatever, and it will it will go off with uh, tremendous force and volatility. Uh, stay tuned for for a couple of bangs. Okay? So uh, we've we've elected to uh, to demonstrate the explosive power of this uh, this charge by by constructing a, a beautiful gun. Um, we've got a bit of pipe and uh, welded a bit of a bit of plate on the end there, uh, hole in it, and we put some some speaker cable down the uh, down the pipe. So now, let me set that back up there. Uh, is it going to glue glue the wires on the end? Otherwise, I'll never stay there. Ash thinks this is going to go off with hot melt glue. No, I don't. Otherwise I don't. I really <laughs> think it'd be quite funny if it did. But no, it wouldn't. Man. Uh, it's not really stuck, is it? Because uh, hot melt glue never sticks to cold stuff too well, does it? But I'm not going to get this hot to try and glue it there. I'm sure that would be. It's got to stay in there whilst we drop it down the pipe and give it a bit of a tug with the wire. Uh, yank on there. Whoa! Give it a poke at the same time. 
decided um, to fire some shot out of here. Uh, figured, figured we'd do it like a, a muzzle loading shotgun. Um, we have some wadding here, which is some carpet off cut. I don't know which way round you reckon, who knows. Uh, maybe this is a bit big. Ash did say it was going to be a bit big. I think it's a bit big Ash. <laughs> I think you're right. We'll just have a quick trim trim. Uh, 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 carpet's trimmed. I'll take the other one. Ash is doing the other one. Are you doing the other one, Ash? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Oh, it's still a bit too big. It's, it's going wonky, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe we need cobble. Trim, trim, trim even more. Mm. Anyway, it's massively trimmed out. About the bottom of that cup. <laughs> really? Is that the ideal size? <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Um, another little pose, I suppose. Something oh, about the other tube. The other tube, yeah. The other tube. Mm -hmm. sort of size. Mm -hmm. Get the other tube. Oh. Actually, just get the other tube. Yeah. There's my coffee. That is really nice, yeah. Really, uh, lovely, nice fit. Axminster carpet as well, so uh, uh, made from made from high quality English sheet. Um, I don't know really what that is the carpet. But I don't. Yeah. So that's that. There's a charge there, a bit of wadding. Um, you show it on the shot. Using. Just going to use some car park. Yeah. <laughs> some <laughs> stones. Um, all right, let's pour it in. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Um. So, we'll go for the uh, second bit of wadding. Wadding. Uh, I hope I haven't cut it too small. Hmm. Which way? Which way around? That way? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's nice that way. I don't know actually. You don't like it that way? No, I don't like it that way. Okay, you're going to put it that way. There's carpet facing outwards, so if we hit anything it'll have a nice, uh, a nice woolly cushion. Yeah. We use the other tube. Yeah, you can tube it. Square. Mm. The tube is courtesy of uh, Jack Frost at RF Welding. Um, probably the nicest person on the planet, apart from my mum. Uh, yeah. Make sure it's... Oh yeah, that's nice. Is well. that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Alright, so, uh, just... so we have uh, an airbag charge first, a piece of carpet, uh, some gravel, and another um, another piece of carpet to stop it all dropping at the end. We're, uh, we'll go and find somewhere to do this, because uh, probably best not to do it in the shed. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Let me show you what's what.
Oh, all right, lovely. So we've obviously had a, a bit of a ricochet. Oh, wow. Kind of smash. Oh, that's still, a bit. Still cracking now. That's unfortunate. Where do we get a new window for our bus? <laughs> the, uh, the damage to the bonnet. Um, it's not that thick, but um, obviously there are any stones. Um, it's certainly peppered it, isn't it? Yeah. I, don't, I, I wouldn't have fancied being a... In the line of fire, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's clear off that.